So 2020 could have started off better. Um, we've had to make a lot of changes to our current plans, to our future plans. A lot of things are up in the air. I thought that this would be a great time for us to sit down and work on a little project together. We are going to make or update, if you've already made, our 2020 vision boards. We're gonna update our travel plans and adjust our goals to fit in with the changes that 2020 has brought us, okay? But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie Perry. When I was 41, I quit my job as a hospital pharmacy technician to travel for a year on savings. Now I'm a year round house sitter and I'm the creator of House Sitter School. I help black women who need some time away from work to travel, to take some time away from work to travel on a budget. If that's you, please take a second and subscribe to this channel and also ring that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Welcome. So Nadine Underwood White, who is a travel blogger and a doctor, um, shared her own blog post on 17 self-care ideas to do during self-quarantine. It's a very helpful blog post, especially for people like us who use travel as a form of self-care, you know, as a way of checking in with ourselves, as a reset. I'll link to her blog post, of course, in the description. But two of her self-care tips were travel planning, which I do all the time to not just relax, but to give myself some time to daydream. So right now, even though it's up in the air as to when we'll be able to return to traveling, we do know what's gonna happen. The time is gonna come and we wanna be ready, especially to get on those deals, which I know will be popping up later. And Nadine's second tip was create a vision board, which is something that I do a lot. I think I made my first vision board in 2011, but it might've been 2010. Um, and that's the year that I lost 65 pounds, I ran a half marathon, like I did a good amount of the things that I wanted to do for the year instead of just rolling them over into the next year. Because I had a physical vision board right in front of me that I saw every day, multiple times a day, and I could write out my um, plan for the next day with my end of the year vision in mind. But that was 2011, it's now 2020, and I don't have any magazines laying around. So instead of creating a physical vision board, we're gonna go ahead and create a digital vision board, but it's something that you can print. You can have it printed out and still have the physical board in front of you. So I'm gonna share my screen with you and we'll go ahead and get started. I just use a vision board as a visual representation of what I want the year to be and where I wanna be you know, by December 31st. When I don't have magazines to cut from and I'm doing a digital vision board, I go to just a couple of places to get pictures, but you can get, get your photos from wherever. Uh, Pinterest is pretty easy. You can, just type, you can just type in something that you're interested in, like if you want to start running or run more or whatever. You can just take um, the image from the pin and save that for yourself. So like if you wanted you know, a picture of a runner, you can just find a picture of a runner on Pinterest, right? And then click the three dots and download the actual image. And there, you see the image is actually downloaded to your computer. I also like to use some of my own in pictures, you know, just photos I've taken of myself on my own vision board so that it looks more personal, you know, to remind me that it's about me. I want to do some writing in 2020. So we'll see if I can find a good inspirational quote. You don't need just pictures, inspirational quotes work. So maybe writing daily, how to build a daily writing habit and stick to it. Maybe that'll work for my board. I'll download that. And then I know that I want to get paid to speak. So I'm going to look for a microphone photo. All right, here we go. Good one. I'll download this image and I've gathered already some other photos. Yeah, so I'm ready to go lay some stuff out. First, I think I should tell you that I already made my vision board for 2020, but none of it applies anymore. <laughs> well, not none of it, but some of it just is totally irrelevant now. Part of the reason for that is that I made my 2020 vision board in September. Big mistake, now I know better. So some of the stuff that's on here doesn't apply anymore. 
Um, my first, this I made my first vision board on Canva. Canva is free. I'll link to it in the description, um, and it's an easy way to make anything visual, like anything graphic. If you're making a book cover or graphics for social media, like Instagram graphics or whatever, Canva's great and it's easy. And then this thing that keeps popping up is because I have Tailwind installed and I don't want to uninstall it, so it's just a weird thing that pops up. But just ignore that. So you can see that this vision board, I made this one too early because I have some stuff on here that doesn't make sense anymore. This Funding Fund Employment was the original name of my sabbatical money five-day challenge. So part of my, one of my goals for the year was of course to launch the challenge. I've done it three times already now. I wanted to have a $10,000 month, you know, a month where I make $10,000. If I do the other things that will happen. So I don't know if that'll make it to the next board. Old Made New Lens is the original title of the book of photos that I wanted to create in 2020. I'm still working on the book of photos. I'm trying to find a pretty way to lay out the pictures, but the title, apparently the title stinks. I think the title is adorable, but when I shared it on uh, my IG stories, everybody was like, no, boo. Travel Adventure Show was a big goal that I had for 2020. I wanted to um, work for them. It's a traveling travel show. You know, it goes to several cities throughout the U.S., of course, those have been canceled, so <laughs> it's probably for the best that I did not get um, any tr traction with them. I tried to contact them a few different times and it was just crickets. I've got love on the board. Uh, pretend that one of these pairs of feet is me. They, I know the picture doesn't really make sense, but I couldn't, I couldn't find anything better. I need to find something better. Uh, so 2020, I'm ready to look for love and not just be like whatever about it. One of my affirmations, I am a good trustee of my wealth, health, and relationships. House sitter school was a big goal that I had for 2020. It's already out in the world, so no need to put that on the updated list. I wanted to take a trip with my mom and actually pay for her this time. My mom, not only pay, when she travels and visits me, not only does she pay for herself, but she'll pay for me too. Like if she's staying in an Airbnb, she stay, she pays for the whole Airbnb and then I go and stay with her. So <laughs> 2020, I wanna actually pay for my mom to travel somewhere with me. Okay, so the book that I wanted to write is a travel memoir. This is what we're gonna update today. All right, so after messing around with that for a few minutes, I decided that I didn't want to do it in that format anymore. I wanted to do a more organized version of my vision board. That overlappy collage type of vision board is fine for me. It matches my personality, but you might be a little more organized and that might make you not want to make a vision board. So let's do a more organized version. For this version, I have just taken some elements, which are grids. So the grids will start out the entire size of the page and then you just shrink or enlarge if you want to the size that you want. So I decided to go half and half and it should tell me, yeah, so there's a purple line. So that tells me that I've hit the halfway point and then I wanna do the same thing here. Okay, and so I know that that's one quarter and then I can do the same thing until I feel like I have a good collage grid. I also have uploaded my images to a folder which is called 2020 Vision Board. Let's see. But you know what? I don't think I uploaded the newest ones. So we're going to go to upload and I want that microphone and that and the lady doing the squats. And now I wanna go ahead and move them over into the folder. Move to folder, Vision 2020. All right, and this is my folder. I'm gonna make this first quadrant about travel. So I know that I still want to do a couple of different things in 2020. I want to go to the International Black Women's Travel Jubilee in Rwanda, because I'm speaking there. I'm speaking about house sitting and maybe also about uh, taking a sabbatical on a budget, of course. Um, so I want to go there. And while I'm there, I'd like to bop over to Zanzibar in Tanzania. So I found a picture of Zanzibar here on Canva. Canva has photos as well. So you can just search for something and find some pictures. So this is Tanzania. 
where I want to go in 2020 and I'll put them up at the top. All right, and then I also would like to do a nice RV trip around Scotland. This is a Scottish Highland cow. So let's see if I can make him look better. So I'm gonna put give him his own space. Let's see, I think I found a better cow. All right, in 2020, I'd also like to take an RV trip, which might be the Scotland trip, and it might be something totally separate. So I'm gonna put that, not there, here, and see if you can see the RV in the mountains. Okay, good enough. And then I wanna put the word travel in here, literally. I have a separate folder with just like metallic background, so I'll try that one. I think this will work. Let's see. Okay, so quadrant number two is going to be all about books. I told you that I wanted to um, put together a book of travel photos of mine. And <laughs> yes, I already have made the cover, but you know, like I said, the, the book is going to change, the title is going to change, so the cover is going to have to change too. But when I'm procrastinating from doing the actual work of putting the book together, I make covers of the book. It's just what I do. It's my procrastination technique making book covers. Speaking of which, I'm also working on a project with my mom and I made a cover for it, but she didn't like the cover or the title. <laughs> so, but that's um, something that I'd like to work on as well in 2020 or finish in 2020. That's a joint project. And then I have, instead of an inspirational quote from Pinterest, I have an actual mug that I sell on Redbubble. A bad first draft is a good start. So I'm going to stick that in here as my writing inspirational quote. And then I told you about how I wanted to write a travel memoir. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I, I'm sorry. My dad's outside cutting the grass. I know you can hear the weed whacker, but we'll power through. Um, I told you that I wanted to write a travel memoir, but I think first up will be something else. A different book, a different actual written book as opposed to um, the photo book. All right, so that's quadrant number two. So quadrant three will be personal stuff, fitness and love and personal stuff. So I already have a picture of me running that I'm gonna put on my board to remind myself that I can do it. Boom. And then I have a picture, uh, let's see. What do I have? I have the lady doing squats. So I want to, I need to, not want to, I need to work on these knees. This is the picture that I downloaded from Pinterest. But I did have something better. 
or not better, but something that I liked more for yoga. Let's see what else I can find. back to my folder all right I'm gonna keep the same picture that I had from my other vision board the camping picture but maybe I'll look later for something better I had already looked for something good but we'll see keep hope alive and then I'm just gonna fill this one in so I'm just gonna fill it in and type out what I want. Right, so the vision board, the whole purpose of the vision board is to, to say what you want, not what you don't want. So sometimes I make the mistake of putting things that I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to do this instead of I actually want to do this. So we're in love. Boom, that's what I want. All right, so we're in love. He values freedom, creativity, and kindness. All right, because that's me. <laughs> Maybe this should be a little bigger. So, so it's clear. All right, and then this was my mom. Where's my picture of my mom? So that quadrant is all about personal stuff. The fourth quadrant is all about business, things that I want to do for my YouTube channel and for my sabbatical coaching business in 2020. We already know that I am pro collaboration, that I like working with other people and projects. So I wanna do a whole lot more of that in 2020, including having more people on my YouTube channel, more interviews and more like shared videos like I did with Rashida from Sheeta's on the Loose. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I make um, collaboration a big part of the year. I've already had a soft launch of my membership site, which is called She Sabbaticals. It's a membership site for black women who are in the process of planning their career break. But I need to reschedule the main launch, like when that will be out in the world for everyone. So that's a big thing that I'm working on for 2020. So I've got this picture that I love that I've not been able to use on my website yet. I got it here on Canva. It because these are black women. And that's who I serve. My goal for the end, right now I'm at six members. My goal for the end of the year is 100 members. So I'm gonna actually write, put that on the board. Right, I want the concrete goals on the board. I always just copy and paste text instead of starting from scratch. All right, and then I talked about wanting to do some paid speaking this year. So we'll put the mic here. And then I have two accountability buddies, Tiffany from Sweet Tiffy's Inspirations and Danielle from, who's the host of the Thought Card podcast. And so I'd like to put in something about a girl's trip that we are supposed to do this year. Um, we don't have any pictures together because I've never even met Danielle in person. I do have a picture with Tiffany, um, but instead, in the meantime, I'm just gonna add in a photo that I can already find. Okay. 
Exodus is a special project that I want to work on, but I don't want to tell you about it yet. We have to have some secrets. I guess I'll keep the 10,000 month goal. Um, yeah, I guess I'll keep that on there too. That's good. I feel like this still needs my affirmation. I'm a good trustee of my wealth, health, and relationships. So I'm going to put it somewhere. So there we have it, my 2020 vision board. I've covered travel, I've covered writing, I've covered personal, and I've covered work. Hey, that's pretty good. That looks pretty good compared to the original. Looks more <laughs> thought out and put together. If I get this printed from like Staples or Office Depot, I think we still have an Office Depot in town, I'll show it to you on another video. In the meantime, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're man managing quarantine. Um, I hope you're still getting in contact with your friends and family members, if not in person, at least online, face to face. And I hope that I will see you again soon, very soon. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little while. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. This is me running. This was me back that year that I lost the weight and started running. This was December. So I made the goal in January. In December, I ran this race, which I believe was a 10-miler.